Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 16.2.51. This new test version of Windows 10 is part of the fall curious update which is expected to release in later 2017. I also wanted to point out that at this time all the major features planned for this update are already included and now until the uh, new version releases Microsoft will simply be working on making Windows 10 stable for the masses. While this isn't a significant update there is a few new features and changes so let's have a closer look at the most worthy uh, changes for this build. On this update Cortana has two new features. First Cortana now can show search previews without having to open the uh, web browser. For example if I wanted to look for uh, let's say define Microsoft now instead of just giving me the results now I get a snippet of the uh, search result as it will look like on a web browser if the uh, if Cortana can uh, provide an accurate preview the uh, this pane on the right will not appear instead you can also uh, click the uh, arrow button next to the uh, uh, search suggestion to see rele relevant content as you can see right now. The second feature included on Cortana and perhaps the most exciting feature included on Bill 16251 is the ability to use voice commands to perform power actions. So finally you can say hey Cortana turn off PC and the system will do just that. In addition you can also restart, sign out and lock your PC. Let me show you how this works. Let me see if actually Cortana is listening to me. So let me just say, for example, turn off PC. Want to turn this off? At this point, you, you only have to just click here. I'm not going to say the word because if not, Cortana will just uh, shut down my PC. But that's how the uh, UI looks like. If you want, uh, you can also type the command. As you can see right there. Interesting enough, Cortana will not respond to the uh, shutdown command. For example, if you say, hey, Cortana, shut down, uh, because it is actually an internal Windows command, so you can actually use it. You can also use this command on the lock screen, but you have to make sure to uh, go to the settings and then just go to Cortana and on talk to Cortana, make sure the, uh, the lock screen feature uh, is turned on. Now let's see what's new on the uh, settings app. On Windows 10 build 16.251, now you're going to see a new section called phone. Inside of phone, you're also going to find a page named phone uh, that allows you to uh, link your Android phone uh, to enable cross devices web browsing. Uh, in other words, uh, it allows you to connect your phone to your Windows 10 PC uh, to share web links so you can pick up where you left off on a website from your phone on your PC. If you want to link uh, your phone, you simply uh, click the add a phone button and here you simply type the uh, phone number of your phone, click send and on your phone you're gonna get a text message uh, with a link where you can download the um, Microsoft Apps Test app and from there, once you configure that application, you can go to, uh, to any website on your phone. On the website, you only have to uh, use a web browser and start the uh, share experience. And then from the list, click the um, continue on PC. And then you will click the um, uh, continue now if you want to uh, pick up on your computer right away or you can send us a notification uh, clicking the um, continue later button as you can see on this uh, screenshot. I can't show you the screen on my phone but I'm just going to uh, show you how quickly this works. So I'm just going to on my phone I'm going to click the um, uh, continue on PC and I'm going to click the uh, continue now and you also have to select the, uh, uh, the computer from the list of devices.
And as you can see, I just sent the uh, Microsoft.com link to my web browser from my phone. Currently, you can only send links from websites, but in the future, Microsoft will be adding more uh, functionalities to this feature. And it's only available for Android phones and iOS support it's coming in later releases. Also, this feature only works on Microsoft Edge if you have a different web browser such as uh, Google Chrome and it is also the browser that you use as your default. Uh, the, um, the new feature will continue to use Microsoft Edge uh, to load your pages. Now let's jump into the uh, account section and let's go to signing options. Under privacy, now we're going to see a new option which is described as uh, use my sending info to automatically finish setting up uh, my device after an update or restart. So the uh, advanced Windows update feature to use your signing information to automatically finish setting up your device after an update has now been extended to regular reboots and shutdowns. Uh, this means that when you sign in and you initiate a reboot or a shutdown using the uh, uh, power options available on the uh, start menu or any other places such as in the uh, uh, the, lock, in the lock screen or when you right click the, uh, uh, the start button, uh, Windows will automatically set up your account after rebooting. This will make the uh, signing experience even faster and this feature will also restore uh, your apps if they have been designed to restart automatically. As part of the uh, new feature, uh, Windows 10 also introduces uh, two uh, additional switches for the uh, uh, shutdown uh, command line. So let me see if I can bring those up. The new option is the uh, SG to that actually uh, shuts down the computer and on the uh, next boot it restart any register applications and there is also a forward slash G let me see if I can spot it right here which uh, what it does is just uh, full shutdown and restart your computer and after the system is rebooted and will restart and register applications. This feature is enabled by default but you can come to this section on the settings app and just turn it right off. On gaming the game monitor page has been renamed to true play but nothing else has changed on this uh, settings now let's jump into the uh, privacy section and on the uh, general tab now there is a new show me suggested content in the settings app I tried to disable this but apparently it's being developed because when I close the uh, settings up and then I try to open it back up you will see that it's still turned on so it might be a feature that it will come in later builds there is one more thing that I want to show you on the uh, settings up this is not new to the uh, Windows 10 build 16251 but it's new to the operating system and it is a new option in the uh, Windows Insider program for PCs enrolled in the fast ring and it is an option that it's called skip ahead to the uh, next Windows release and it is an option that allows you to get early access to the uh, next version of Windows 10 which currently we know as Redstone 4 before the uh, full Kirtos update releases so if you're interested you can select that option and you can switch to start getting new builds for the uh, 
next version of Windows 10. Uh, currently, Bill 16251 is available on both regular fast ring and those who are using the uh, skip ahead option. But later on, the build numbers will diverge and uh, the features available between the two will be different. But this is a temporary option. After the uh, Windows 10 full curious update releases to everyone, the uh, skip ahead option will go away and the uh, fast ring will, will go back to receiving bills for the uh, next version of Windows 10 as it will happen normally. On this new release for the uh, Windows 10 full curious update, we're also getting an updated one-handed touch keyboard, which is a little bit bigger with thicker borders to prevent accidental tap outside of the uh, keyboard and while you dismissing it. Also, the keyboard now supports a full keyboard layout for different languages, including English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. And launching and dismissing the uh, keyboard, you now will notice a new animation that is slides in and out. Let me see if that works. As you can see right there. And there you go. On Microsoft Edge, there are a few tweaks, but nothing major. One thing I notice is when you open the browser and you click the uh, Show Tabs Preview, the icon will actually be rendered in blue instead of just white, as you can see right here. And Microsoft also notes that Narrator now it's on by default on Microsoft Edge. And if you need to use this feature, uh, you can still use the uh, caps lock plus space uh, keyboard shortcut to enable and disable the uh, narrator scan mode. Also, Microsoft Edge will no longer rescale websites in portrait mode uh, with a narrow uh, viewpoint. It basically it's just going to uh, look, websites will just look how they're supposed to. On Precision Touchpad, the uh, two finger scrolling should feel a bit smoother. And finally, the uh, pen now, now can select and drag objects when the uh, Vero button, uh, the button on the side of the pen, uh, is pressed down. So, and that's pretty much all that's new on Windows 10, build 16.251. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.